back to my Nintendo Arcade, I'm Alex and today I'm going to show you my Donkey Kong Jr. cab and we're going to do some gameplay. So I know John on John's Arcade is doing a, well he's trying to get over 100,000 so I thought, oh, okay, I know I'm pretty good at this game, let's show him and show you guys how good I am. I'm really crap at Donkey Kong and um, Jr.'s always had a soft spot for me. It's a funny one, Junior, because I never remember it back in the day. I used to play a lot of Donkey Kong and Crazy Kong is what we got over here. But Donkey Kong Junior, I don't remember playing a lot as a kid. We used to have these Game & Watch that, that I remember. I remember this, Donkey Kong Junior on a Game & Watch. But I don't remember playing this. So when I picked this game up, it was a completely new experience for me. And I was hooked on it for about a year, I guess, non-stop playing. There was me, Al and a couple of other guys that were competing against each other. And Al now has become sort of our UK champion at Donkey Kong. I think he's got a million on it now, haven't you, Al? Which is pretty cool. Um, and he's come around here and he's put his uh, top score on my machine. It's still on there, Al. And I will be beating it soon. I'll tell you, one day I will beat it. So I'm going to show you over the cab, show you a bit of the side art, and then I'll show you a bit of the game, my gameplay. Before I do that, some usual pickups, which I've picked up this week. You know I'm picking up more SNES games for my collection. Picked up a lovely um, Poppin' Twinby for the snares. Look at the artwork on that. Isn't that beautiful? Really cool. It's a cool little shoot 'em up, um, which I haven't had a chance to play yet, but I know it's got some great views. I'm really looking forward to playing that. My next game is Paradius, which uh, Gunstar Hero Lee sent me. He sent a copy and it didn't work, so he kindly sent off for another copy and it's arrived today and it's on in the background as you can see. And again, I can't wait to play this. I think there's a few different versions of this game, um, which I've yet to check out. I think there's maybe two or three. I think it's just this is just called Paradius. Um, but again, it's a lovely little shooter and I can't wait to play that. So that's this week's pickups. Um, so let's get straight over to the gameplay then, or oh, I'll show you the cab first, let's have a look at the cab. So here we go, I've pulled it out and as you can see it's quite a big machine once you get it out, they're quite deep, about 900mm deep these machines. And um, it is a shame that uh, you don't get to see the side up, I mean I've got mine, there's a little bit of space in between each cab as you can see, so you can look down the side and see the side up, whereas before I had them all bunched up together. Um, just so I can get more of a look at Sheriff's side art. But I think it kind of looks better with the evenly spaced gaps. And uh, here you go, it's the Donkey Kong Jr. side art, which is really, really cool. And that pose there with Jr. holding the key is quite typical um, of this game. And it'd be found there pretty much everywhere. As you can see on, on this game and watch, which is what I used to play, there's the. Um, picture of Junior there holding the key and that's off one of the levels of uh, Donkey Kong Junior. It's really cool. I love the colour as well, orange. So this is the front elevation of the, of the machine. It's the marquee. It's pretty cool. And the bezel. It's all original guys. The only thing that is an original guess on this machine is the side art, because that's reproduction. And those blue buttons there are reproduction, they're not proper Nintendo buttons. The proper Nintendo buttons are slightly taller. This orange one is an original one, so I took that off an old Versus um, control panel. And they're slightly taller, I don't know if you can see that. And it does make a difference when you're playing the game, these do feel a lot better. But these, because you just press them once, it doesn't really matter, I'm not too bothered about that. Um, they did come with like a disc a dust cover here. I've taken mine off and I had this one made up, which I think looks a lot better because the other ones tend to leave a scratch mark all the way around. And I'm not too keen on that. I and mean, you know, it's not in an arcade anymore, it's private use. It's not going to get a battering and it's not going to get cigarettes shoved down the joystick like they used to do in the arcade. And the T molding, I've still got a curved T molding on here, I've got to change it to flat which is like the original Donkey Kong. See the Donkey Kong T-Mold, it's flat. This has got a lot more of a curve to it. It's okay, you know, I'm not too bothered about it right now. Um, moving further down, got uh, all the original coin doors, a little bit battered in, but I quite like a little bit of, 
a lot of things too new, too crisp. You know, these are old machines that had a bit of a life before them. So it's nice to have a bit of authenticity about them, you know. Um, there you can see it's been sprayed. I haven't done a great job in getting a nice line down there. It's a bit bitty. But other than that, you know, it's a beautiful machine. This was my first machine. I absolutely loved it. I still do. Never, ever sell it. I love the game. It's just an awesome game. And a beautiful machine. You can imagine that in an arcade. That would just draw on kids' attention straight away. Just all the bright, vibrant colours that Nintendo are really good at. And that's it really, guys. Well, here we go. Get the key from Mario and save your papa. That's all we need, isn't it? We don't need a big storyline. Not great, I'm gonna get about 11.50 is my highest on that first level, but I'm not gonna dwell over it. Lovely, I'll have some of that. So my technique is getting that left one first, then taking the others up. Where I do things. That's the chain level, that's easy there. It's the later chain levels are the hardest. the blue one down here by hanging around on that vine so you can get those bananas didn't do it very well there come on yep bang use two arms to go up faster and both arms on the one vine to go down quicker that is the basic rule of this game you need to know that rules you're going to you're not going to get anywhere. So two arms to go up, quick, quick, one on each vine. Both arms on one vine to go down quick.
that's fairly easy as well but the later levels again they speed up and you have to jump every seventh one i think it is can't remember now it's been a while since i played it so this is going to get a little bit harder a little bit trickier i'm hoping they're all going to come down this one because i'm hanging on this chain they're not they're all going to go down that one you bastards so i'm going to go up this one now come back to that one One there, I'm gonna go for that one. Sod it. one for me usually and oh, that was good that was a good level there's something wrong with my chip on the board the sounds wrong it should go Ew, but, but it's just like a continuous tone um, so it's just something wrong one of the resistors on the board I don't know I'm not technical but I've got to get a saw it doesn't bother me too much I missed that one again, keep missing that one. Now the red ones don't go all the way down, but the blue ones do, so you ain't got to worry about them so much. Snappers, as they're called. Yes, come on then. Ah, oh, shit. Pan it. You can just see where the little leaves are at the end of the vine. You can just hang in there. And the red ones won't won't hit you. Shit, I'm not concentrating now. That wouldn't have normally happened. Go down, go down. Two reds, that's what we want. It's a good level. Now, um, I think we're on the hideout, which is pretty cool. Hideouts are easy. So get this one. You've got to get that one out of the way as it's going to make your life really difficult on the later level up the top there. And then just wait for the two to come along. Jump that one, you've got to get that one, it's going to make your life really difficult, then jump that one. So now you've got them out of the way, the yellow sparks are out of the way, that leaves you space up here to point press, and I just hang about here. There is another method of point pressing up here, but it's a little bit more dangerous. I don't feel that confident with doing that at the moment. I mean, if I was getting sort of 500,000 on this game, and looking at getting a million, maybe, I'll start looking at that, that method. I can't remember what it's called. I know my mate Al would let me know. Al, if you're watching this, just comment. Tell me what that method is, where you bounce backwards. I think there's a name for it. I've seen him do it. But it's very dangerous. I mean, this is quite... This took me a while to get this right, really. I always used to miss the jump by a split second. So you missed didn't get any points that time. You've got to just get it just underneath your feet. Otherwise it won't acknowledge the point. And I always just keep pressing the jump button in case I miss. Miss fire. Miss press. Let's 
because I'm looking at getting it down to about 1200, 1500, and then I'll make the move. That's what I normally do. I don't like to take too many chances. Shit, I nearly missed it. Looking to run soon. Come on, off these through. Yeah, see how close it is. But you gain quite a lot by doing that. Batteries running low on my camera. Don't think I'm gonna make it. Shit. Another one, lovely. I like it when that happens. Come on, move, move, move. There's a little space there you can just about hang in without getting caught, says he. Oh, just made that, guys. Just want to get to 100,000 because I know John can't get there. I want to get there. I love this game. I find it a relaxing game. I don't know what John's going on about. Stressful game. This is a nice relaxing game compared to Donkey Kong. I find it a little bit more strategic. Thinking about your moves more. Shit, what did I do that for? You really can't chat and play this game. I can't anyway. Not to a good standard, but... I think the video would be a bit boring if I wasn't chatting. Maybe it wouldn't. Maybe you don't like me chatting. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Go on. Have some of that. Go on. I've got two going up there together. No. Come on. Come on. Down you come. Come to daddy. Come on. One. I'll go for him. Fuck it. Oh, that, was, that was really, 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 really close. I'm gonna hang up there, safe little space there. So they're out of the way. Then I'll make a run for it. The red one in the way. There's a space. Got him out of the way. Hang off the edge. Wait. Got to wait for those red ones to go down. No. Now. Done it. We've got 100,000. Not quite. Nearly there, guys. 98,000. This gets a little bit more tricky here. Right, I'm going to go the long way round. It's a little bit more tricky. This is really, 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 really tricky. See? Didn't get the other arm across quick enough. That's why I got hit. See, so always seem to miss that. I haven't got 100,000 yet. Come on. Oh, 
should come in. Yeah, we go. Yeah, it's looking for the space. See that space? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jump. I think that was right. Or was that just a bit of luck? Look at that. Skill McBill! <laughs> Skill McBill. Happy as Larry. Second time round. Come on, baby. Right, this has got to be done really fucking quick. I mean, really fucking quick. For this to work. Watch this. Look at that. Jump over that. And have some of that. That's a tricky move, but he does it. And that's awesome. Now we'll just sit up here again and point press. Just hope my battery on my phone doesn't run out. Have some of that, Johnny boy. Too much talk and not enough action, as they say. This is my last life, just realised. 115,000, it's not bad for a showcase vid, is it? Just to show you basically uh, how I play this game. As I say, this was my favourite game in the arcade before Sheriff turned up. And it's, you know, it's such a great game. You know, I get a nice game out of this, a nice chilled gameplay. It's just a fab game, I love it. I never feel stressed playing this game, as with Donkey Kong, I do. <clears throat> what we got now? Come on, register, not registering. So if I can get this, if I can loot this four times, I've got a good chance of beating 200,000 easily. I mean, I've looped it, I think, three times. We've got half a round on the third, I think. Can't remember now. It was a while ago since I've done that. Oh, Jesus. I mucked it up. Let's get out of here. She's about to run out on the phone. Let's just see if I can get this last bit. If I get off this level. Right, see, I'm going for this key on the left first. Get that out of the way. Right, that's free. That's the hardest one done. It's out. If I don't get all the red snappers, it doesn't matter. Just get that one out of the way. That's the way I see it. Doesn't matter. Get that up as well. Oh, Jesus. Right, what have we got here? We've got two coming up there.
it really is like trying to balance a load of plates. Done it. 20 minutes on the film. I might just die after this one, guys, because I think the film's going to run out. Battery's going to run out on the camera. But you get the gist of it. I'm not bad player. In fact, you know, I should start playing this again. I haven't played this for a while, seriously. Seriously playing the game. I should do it. I should do it. It's such a great game. I haven't hit one of those blues in that line this whole game, which is really unusual for me. I've never ever done that. I mean, I watch players like my mate Al, who's like UK world champion at this game, and he just makes it look so easy. Now, if you're watching. I want you to come around and give me some more tips, buddy. Ah, oh, shit. 137,000. Not bad. Not bad. I'm pretty pleased with that. Anyway, that's it. Before the battery runs out. So, what do you think then, guys? It's a pretty cool game, isn't it? I'm not bad at it. <laughs> not bad at it at all. But I'd love to beat that 200,000 mark. I really would. Um, maybe I'll do another video in the week. and Because uh, I do feel a bit more pressured when I've got a camera on me to do a bit better. You know, you're a bit blasé when you come down here and just turn it on and coin up. And if I die too early on, I usually just turn the thing off and that's it. End of fucking game. But I will give it another go. Um, I really want to get 200,000 on it. That will be really my goal. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And um, check out my Facebook page, which is Ninty Arcade. And you can follow me on Twitter, which is Twitter, which is at Nintendo Arcade. Anyway guys, thanks for watching again and uh, see you on the next video. Cheers. Uh -oh.